Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, June 10th, we'll talk about tears of compassion. Tears of compassion. In John 11, 35, we see a sentence which says, Jesus wept. This is the smallest sentence in the Bible, but very powerful one, which denotes the love and compassion of Jesus Christ for mankind. There are only two occasions in, in the New Testament where it's mentioned that Jesus Christ cried openly. Chronologically, this is the first instance where he cried when he saw his friends, Martha, Mary and all her people crying at the tomb of Lazarus who died four days back. Jesus used to visit their house in Bethany often and considered them to be his friends. He shed real tears of grief when he witnessed the terrible effects of sin on the human race. The second occasion where Jesus cried was when he saw Jerusalem and thought about the destruction that was going to come on it. We see this incident in Luke 19, 41. This punishment came upon them because they were not able to recognize Jesus Christ as their Messiah when he visited them. They let him pass by. They couldn't recognize him. His compassion for the lost souls was revealed in his loud lamentation. First time his weeping near the tomb of Lazarus was silent and it revealed that he was completely human in nature while being completely divine. His tears assure us of his compassionate nature. He is our merciful, sympathetic and faithful high priest and we may come to the throne of grace and find all the gracious help that we need. We should also remember that he weeps when we sin because it means that we won't be staying in his kingdom of eternity. It's a fatherly love. He wants his children to come back to his home and when we go astray, there's no chance of us going back to him. Please don't make him weep. We, would, we should strive to make him happy by abiding in him and walking him with him like Enoch. W. H. Griffith Thomas says, Let us sit at Christ's feet until we learn the secret of his tears and beholding the sins and sorrows of city and countryside, weep over them too. We as his followers should have the same burden that Jesus has for mankind. We have to understand the fact that Jesus Christ cries for our, our sake when we sin. We should ask him help to lead us in the right path, to make us, he is leading us in the right path. We have to recognize the right path and follow him. We have to pray for others also who are going astray. We should first be in the right track the narrow way that Jesus ordered us to walk in and then make others also follow him. Then there won't be any weeping. We should weep in compassion when we see others going astray and going down the drain and going ultimately to hell. Let's pray. Lord, thank you, Lord, for this occasion to understand the tears of compassion of Jesus Christ. We as followers of Jesus Christ, please help us to have that type of compassion towards our fellow beings. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.